that was how Anthony got tasked with taking our iMac Pro to the Apple Store for repairs. Only one small problem. They refused to fix it. And we're not even talking warranty service. We understood we would have to pay. We wanted to pay. And they outright refused to fix it. How the f does that even work? Because that was back on January 30th two months ago, and our machine is still not repaired. This one gets interesting. And you know what else is interesting? Mac Weldon. Mac Weldon makes great underwear, t-shirts, socks, wallets, and more. They believe in simple shopping, and if you use offer code TECHTIPS, you'll get 20% off on their store. Our story begins with Anthony's first interaction with Apple support. It was pretty pleasant, all things considered. Apple representative Andrea was very sympathetic, but for some reason, she couldn't give us any guarantee that they could actually do anything. That should have been a bright red flag. But when Anthony and Tyler later returned from dropping off the Pro at the local Apple store, they told me that, well, they smiled, told us they'd order the parts, and get us back up and running in a jiffy. Our iMac Pro review actually ended up coming together pretty well in spite of our limited ability to get additional B-roll footage. So all we could do at this point was wait for our repair. Then, a couple of days later, the Apple Store sent a follow-up email letting us know that we could come pick up our computer and... Sorry, what? Right? No. Have you have you responded to this yet? This is no. I, I've got this to, is I've completely unacceptable. We've no. We've got it. This is through email. Get in touch with them some other way. Get Yvonne to yell at them. Like we still have like three or four videos to make with this thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just see what you can do. Yep. What does this even mean? If they are unable to obtain the parts, they wouldn't be able to repair the iMac. Oh, gee. Thanks, Jesse. So what, at this point, what are our options? There's just no recourse if we can't get an Apple authorized service provider to obtain the parts. And these are parts that Apple wouldn't even send to their own store. Yeah, I will contact an AISP uh, Ed mentioned he knows a guy, so uh, maybe we can even get a video out of it. Maybe, whatever. Are you guys following this so far? We thought there must have been some kind of misunderstanding. Remember, we're paying for the repair after all. But the Apple Store confirmed that they were unable to fix it because HQ wouldn't send them the parts they ordered. And that our only option was to come and get it back untouched. And it actually gets even better from here because we asked, well, if Apple themselves can't fix our computer, who can? And we got told that the only option was to bring it to a third party an Apple authorized service provider. So since there's no way for us to order new parts from Apple directly and fix it ourselves, we reached out to one. Hey, uh, any word back from your friend? Okay, so new update. They can order the part, but for them to approve the sale, they need someone with Apple Pro certification. And unfortunately, that doesn't exist yet. And let me guess, even if it did, if they ordered it and just gave us the parts, they'd lose their certification. Yep. So Lewis Rossman, you remember that guy, right? He showed me the right way to fix BGA solder joints. So, so he is constantly complaining about Apple pulling crap like this, but not being someone who repairs Apple's products for a living, I always kind of figured it was mostly shop talk. However, as someone who now has to repair an Apple product in order to flip it on Craigslist, no, I don't believe that anymore. It's absolutely real. Like, I get it. What Apple's done here is to release a brand new platform that they are unwilling and or unable to provide support for. I mean, yeah, we broke it, we get that, but I mean, imagine this in some other industry. Imagine if you bought a brand new car 
and drove it into a lamppost as you were leaving the dealer. Then both the dealer and your third party insurer said that they couldn't fix it because the parts and the repair manual don't exist. As far as we can tell right now, they expect us to just roll over and accept that our workstation is now essentially just a collection of pretty rocks for some indeterminate amount of time because they released a product without the training or support structure necessary to actually support it. They've thrown their support staff under the bus, they've thrown their authorized service providers under the bus, and most damningly of all, they've thrown the customer, because I bought this thing, under the bus. Despite Apple's careful design, accidents do happen. And if a former repair technician can screw up from time to time, and trust me, they do, the end user will too. So, we're turning to our community for bright ideas. We still wanna repair this thing. So we're gonna have a forum thread linked below. If maybe you know a guy who knows a guy who can get a board, PSU, and display, or if someone who works at Apple happens across this video and agrees that, you know what, yeah, that is totally unacceptable. Well, we'd love to hear from them too. For now, we will just continue to stew in impotent rage over the sheer stupidity of this whole situation but only for a little while, because it always lifts me up to tell you guys about Squarespace. Squarespace is the place to go to build your own beautiful, functional website. They've got gorgeous templates and they scale to look great on any design. Squarespace offers 24 seven tech support via live chat and email. It starts at just 12 bucks a month. You get a free domain if you buy Squarespace for the year and they've got tons of great features, including their cover pages feature, which lets you set up a simple one page online presence in minutes, their logo designer, the fact that every Squarespace page includes an online store and the ability to publish from the Squarespace blog in Apple News format. So don't take our word for it. Try out Squarespace. You can get a 30-day free trial at the link below. That's squarespace.com slash LTT. And when you decide to sign up for Squarespace, you can get 10% off. Again, that's squarespace.com slash LTT, offer code LTT. So thanks for watching, guys. If this video sucked, you know what to do. But if it was awesome, get subscribed, hit that like button, or check out the link to where to buy the stuff we featured in the video description. Also linked down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should totally join.